Adventure number three, Captain Feathersword's Buried Treasure. Let me tell you about the time Captain Feathersword and the friendly pirates went on a treasure hunt. The pirates' ship sailed over the ocean for many days. The water was very rough, and poor Penelope began to feel very seasick. Oh, don't worry, Penelope," said Captain Feathersword. "We'll be at the island very soon." Penelope still felt ill, but she knew that she would feel better when they got to the island. They were going on a treasure hunt, and everyone was very excited. Captain Feathersword had found an old treasure map from many years ago. X marked the spot where he had buried the treasure, and since forgotten where it was hidden. The four friendly pirates. Knew it would be a great adventure to go and dig up the buried treasure. He's got a treasure chest buried below the land. No one knows where it's hidden. It's buried below the sand. A treasure map is what he'll use to find his treasure chest. When he goes to dig it up, that's what he likes best. Captain Feathersword, how much further is it? Oh, we're almost there, be hearty. Land ho, Captain! It's the island where the treasure is buried. Oh, sail on! We'll drop anchor offshore and then row till we reach land. The great ship stopped not too far offshore, and they dropped anchor and lowered the sails. The four pirates climbed aboard a dinghy and rowed for shore. Before too long, their dinghy hit the sandy beach of the island. We're here at last. I'm glad we're here. Now my stomach will feel a bit better. Aye,、uh, well, now according to my map, the、uh, treasure is buried under a tree at the foot of the tallest mountain on the island. That must be it over there, Captain. See the mountain in the distance? It stands much taller than the others. You're right, Raj. We shall head for the mountain, and there we will find the tree where the treasure is hidden. The pirates walked toward the mountain, singing as they walked to pass the time. We're walking, walking. We've got to walk a very long way, but singing, singing will help us walk and walk all day. The pirates walked for hours through thick forest and through creeks with many different coloured fish. They soon arrived at the bottom of the tallest mountain, which now seemed gigantic to the pirates. I'm glad the treasure isn't buried on top of the mountain, Captain Feathersword. I really don't feel like climbing all the way up there. <laughs> yes, Imran, it certainly is a long way, and I don't think I could have carried the treasure chest up there to begin with. So, where's the tree where the treasure is hidden, Captain? We're here at the bottom of the mountain, and there's no trees. And what's more, I can't see the treasure anywhere. <laughs> well, of course you can't see the treasure. It's、uh, buried below the sand.、Uh, hang on, I'll have a look on my map. Ah,、oh, good. That will give us a chance to sit down and have a rest. Ooh, my feet are pretty sore from all that walking. Captain Feathersword got the map out of his pocket and opened it up. It was a big piece of paper, about the size of a tabletop. He needed some help to hold it open because it was so large. Ooh,、yep. So Penny helped him to hold it. Oh, thank you, Penny.、Um, so if the X is on the side of the mountain closest to the ocean, and、uh, we're here at the bottom of the mountain with the ocean next to us. Then、uh, where is the tree with the treasure?、Uh, it must be here somewhere. Uh, uh... The pirates were actually in the right spot. They were standing directly above where the treasure was hidden, but the tree had been hit by lightning many years ago. All that was left now was a sandy clearing with a burnt-out stump of a tree. What I don't understand, Captain, is that if the map says the tree is here, why isn't it here? Where could it have gone? Trees don't just get up and walk away. Oh no, no, you're 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 right, you're right, me hearty.、Uh, but I buried that treasure a long time ago at the bottom of the tree.、Uh, anything at all could have happened to it. In fact, I I wouldn't be surprised at all if the tree was struck by lightning, and left only this burnt stump. You could be right, Captain. Let's dig under the sand and see if we can find the treasure chest. The pirates began to dig, each with a shovel in their hands. They dug for some time through the sandy soil until, all of a sudden, Imran struck something hard. Captain, Captain, I found it! I found your buried treasure. Oh, good, Imran! Stand back and let me see it. 
Captain Feathersword cleared away the sand from around the hard object and knocked on it with his hand. Yes, it was definitely something hard and it sounded wooden. Arrgh! I think we've found it, me arties. Oh, quick, let's dig it up and feast our eyes upon the treasures it holds for us, sir. The four pirates helped to dig the sand from around the chest. Soon, they had the chest sitting free in the hole they had dug. They all lifted at the four corners of the chest and put it up on the sand. Come on, Captain, let's open it up. Come on, come on! Oh, okay, okay, but be prepared. I can't remember what sort of treasure I had buried in this chest. Uh, uh, it might not be all gold. Uh, there might be jewels and silver as well, I'm not sure. Uh... The pirates stood back as Captain Feathersword opened the chest. Their faces looked blank with astonishment. It was full of cans of baked beans. Baked beans? Yes, that's right, baked beans. There was a whole chest full of baked beans. No gold and no jewels and no silver. Just plain old baked beans. Oh, Captain Feathersword, we're not going to be rich. There's no treasure. It's all been a waste of time. We came all this way only to find a chest full of baked Beans! Well, well uh, look at it this way, me hearties. At least we won't go hungry on the long trip home. <laughs> <laughs> the pirates all laughed together as they thought about their adventure. It was a fun adventure, and even though they had not come away with gold and jewels, they had a great time on their treasure hunt, and they also had a ton of baked beans to take home with them. Adventure number three, Captain Feathersword's Buried Treasure. Let me tell you about the time Captain Feathersword and the friendly pirates went on a treasure hunt. The pirate's ship sailed over the ocean for many days. The water was very rough and poor Penelope began to feel very seasick. Oh, don't worry, Penelope, said Captain Feathersword. We'll be at the island very soon. Penelope still felt ill, but she knew that she would feel better when they got to the island. They were going on a treasure hunt. <laughs>